what's going on everybody it's your guy realistic and in this video i'm actually going to be doing an unboxing and what i'm going to be unboxing is the brand new warm audio wa8000 so if you don't know warm audio recently just released their version of what they clone to be the sony c800g that is an iconic microphone that a lot of people like travis scott drake ariana there's a ton of people that use that microphone it's very coveted in the hip-hop and producer and engineering community so if you're an engineer like i am and you work go to a lot of big studios like in atlanta or la you're definitely going to find the sony mic so what they did was they cloned it and they emulated it and i want to check it out so i have not opened this this is still taped i just got this today in the mail from sweetwater so I'm going to go ahead and actually unbox this live for you all to see my uh, first reactions and see how we feel about it. So let me go ahead and uh, open this up, see what it's all about. I'm excited. I, I've been thinking about this for quite a while. I had actually kind of guessed when uh, Warm Audio a month ago had announced they're releasing something new. I kind of guessed based on the, the image that was in the background that it was gonna be a clone of this microphone. So I was anticipating it. I actually had sold um, some gear. It was a UAD satellite that I had that I wasn't using. I, I sold that so I knew uh, I could have some money uh, to get this because I was really excited and I definitely wanted one in the uh, studio here. All right here. So you know, you know the deal if you've ordered from Sweetwater, you know, you get the bubble wrap. You're gonna get the, you know, the uh, little booklets in there. I'm sure they got a little stash of candy in there as well, like they normally do. All right, so let me pull this out here. This right here, this is a uh, Mugami snake that I got that I added along with it. So um, I'm just gonna take a look, but we won't really, we won't really dive into that too much because that uh, has nothing to do with the video. But I wanted it for my um, my patch bay. Uh, cause I, I got a, a patch base set up that I use for like some analog gear when I'm mixing and stuff. So I wanted to get a, actually get a Mugami, uh, cable, uh, snake cable. So I just went ahead and got the, uh, eight channel TRS. I got a 10 footer. So that's going to work perfect behind my desk, um, to be able to route everything in my patch bay. Okay. All right. So enough of that. Let's go ahead. We'll take a look here. All right, man. I do remember these boxes because I got a few. Uh, I got a few warm audio boxes, but here goes the box right here. So you can see this is uh, there's a lot going on in here. I'm I'm excited. The uh, the mic looks looks awesome, by the way. So let me go ahead and uh, throw this box out of the way. Okay, so I got the box out of the way. Let me see here. Let's go ahead and open this up here. We got a little tab right here. Okay, so this is one thing I was really excited about too, is that uh, it comes with this really heavy duty case. I could tell in the photos that it was gonna be really heavy duty, but uh, first impressions, I was not expecting this it to be this heavy duty. So this is great, uh, that's a good thing. I'm really excited about that. Let me go ahead and throw this box over here. Okay, and then of course, you know, whenever you uh, order something, you get, uh, you know, a little uh, booklet on it and everything. And let's see, I got another. Okay, so this is just advertising some of their uh, their gear and stuff like that, which I already have a ton of their gear. And then this looks like the manual, which believe it or not, I am the type of guy that I'm going to read this manual um, from top to bottom, especially with a, a mic this nice here. Okay, so I'm just taking a look at the case. Let me go ahead and show y'all what this case looks like here. So it's made out of a, a really thick plastic here. It's got the warm audio logo. And then it's got two little uh, latches right here. And what I'm also liking too, if you can see that right there, let me go up to the camera a little bit. So we got these little holes right here. So it looks like if I really wanted to, I could throw some locks on here, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I know if I had the, the Sony version, that $10,000 mic, uh, I would definitely throw the locks on here. Okay, so here is the moment of truth. I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. Well, not a long time, but since they announced it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the mic here. All 
All right, so I got the, the mic. It looks like the mic has a little uh, wind filter over there, much like you would see on like the uh, Shure SM7B, which is uh, actually right there. All right, so I got it in hand here. Take a look here. So the uh, the build of it, the build's all right. It's not as, uh, the build isn't quite as uh, impressive as some of the other mics. I have the WA-47 and I have their WA-87. And initially when I pulled those out, the, the build felt amazing. This one didn't hit me with that same wall fa factor. But at the end of the day, uh, what it sounds like is going to be most important. Anyways, so I'll show you guys the mic here. So you see we got the mic. We got a polar pattern here, so it looks like we got omnidirectional and we got uh, cardioid direction and all right there. Uh, and then we got the the heat sink on here as well. And I'll, I'll dive into this in just a moment here. Uh, the heat sink on the Sony here is uh, it's a little bit bigger. I think it might almost be twice the size of it. And so uh, with the heat sink here, because this is a tube mic here, as you can see, we're gonna go through all the the power supply and everything in a moment. But uh, the ideal here with a, a tube mic is it's going to, uh, it's got a little tube in here, a little valve that it goes through, and then it's going to get its own power. And why I like tube mics, I use them on a lot of, um, just a lot of, a lot of vocals in general, honestly, mostly R&B and uh, pop vocals. But lately I've been using it a lot on hip hop vocals as well. And that's what this is. This is also a, a tube light condenser. Uh, discretion already ahead. Uh, you cannot put phantom power in this. That's what this uh, fan, uh, this power supply is for. So if you get a tube mic, like this mic or another one, do not put phantom power in it. You don't need it. And it, if anything, it's going to actually hurt the mic. So one of the, the main characteristics of a tube mic is you're going to get a lot of like analog type saturation. It kind of gives you almost a, a tape-like saturation and natural compression. That's why I like it. Uh, you hear it on a lot of vocals like uh, Frank Ocean or Chris Brown or even Ariana. It just really gives that that warm, buttery, smooth sound. So what made the Sony so unique is it uh, it has a heat sink. Same with this microphone. And I believe uh, that's the only mic that of its kind that had a, a heat sink. I think it might have been proprietary to that or maybe not proprietary, but I think it might have been the first technology, uh, the first mic to use that technology. Anyway, so what the heat sink does, because this is a tube mic and the tube gets gets hot and warm. So what the heat sink does is it controls the uh, temperature inside of the, the tube. And that's what made the Sony sound, uh, gave it its own sound. And what made it so uh, coveted is because the heat sink in there was able to control the internal uh, temperature in here. So what that did was it reduced the noise floor and reduced the distortion. So we could still get that, that really warm, beautiful, rich, saturated sound without some of the noise floor. If you've ever used a tube mic, I know like I've used tons of them. Like for instance, uh, I remember the Telefunken, uh, AK 47. That's a real mic, by the way. Uh, that one was very noisy. Uh, the noise floor was, was loud. It had kind of what I would describe as like a lot of tape hiss. Uh, same with the, the Audio Technica. I'm drawing a blank. I think it's the AT4080. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think it's the AT4080 is there too, Mike. That one was pretty uh, noisy. And then I also uh, have a lot of uh, experience with the Neumann M149 tube mic. Then that one was really noisy too. The noise floor was pretty high on that one. Uh, the Warm Audio U47 that I have, that one is a tube mic, but the noise floor wasn't too crazy. It still had some noise on there like you would expect from a tube mic. That one didn't. But anyways, back to back to this. So the whole point of this heat sink right here is to lower that noise floor and lower that distortion. And so because of that, uh, what this allows for is it allows this microphone to pick up uh, a lot of information, especially in the, the high end frequencies. It can pick up a lot of information there. And so what this does now is because it lowers that that down, it's a lot less harsh on some of those higher end frequencies. So uh, a lot of times you can even have a, a vocalist. If this is if this really is like the Sony CM uh, 800G, uh, a vocalist that has a lot of uh, sibilance. If you've ever used a bright sounding microphone, that sibilance just comes in there and just wreaks havoc. 
But on a Sony 800G, it really tames that down and it, it really, it doesn't accentuate it as much. And so you can get this really bright sound without those, uh, those sibilant or those uh, resonating frequencies in that upper range to sound so harsh and, and hurt the ears so much. They sound really smooth. And so that's what's so exciting about having a version like this because that Sony mic, it retails for $10,000. However, it's sold out at most places. And if you guys are in like the, the sneaker game like I am or or any type of resale market, you know that when stuff sells out, the resale market is crazy. So they retail for $10,000 and they're pretty much sold out. So you kind of have to buy it on the secondary market. And it's usually above 10,000, more close to 15,000. So I'm letting you know that the Sony mic is is that expensive. And so what Warm Audio went ahead and did was they configured uh, a mic that uh, was very similar to the same uh, specs. They study it and they, they figure it out. And I'm going to explain how they're able to make this so affordable. And so what they then do is they create their own version, a clone of it, if you will. And then what they do is they uh, release it at a much more affordable cost. So like I said, that Sony mic retail is $10,000 and this one's going for about $1,100 or $1,200. Same with my uh, U47, which I'm just gonna have to pull that out in a moment because I keep talking about it. Uh, so let me go ahead and grab that just because I keep talking about it. Uh, but anyways, so this is uh, this other mic is supposed to emulate the uh, the uh, Neumann or Telefunken uh, U47 it's tube mic. Uh, and that mic's like, what, five, six, seven thousand, somewhere around there. And then this mic itself was only eight ninety nine, the clone of it. So that's kind of what Warm Audio uh, does. That's kind of their deal is they they take these really coveted pieces of gear and uh, expensive microphones and they clone it and make it at a much more affordable cost for you to be able to buy. And so from my understanding, how they do that is they buy the the same parts that are used or very close parts that are used for these these microphones like the diaphragm the transistors the circuitry but what they do is they buy it in a ridiculously large amount like a huge 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 bulk bulk order so that way the factory gives them the transistors and the transformers and the circuitry at a really really low cost cost because they just mass they bought so many parts and so because of that they're able to then make these microphones at a much more affordable cost because they got such a big discount on all the parts and then they study all everything and then they clone it if you will and so i haven't had a chance to hear this mic but we will i got my guy love of pharaoh coming soon and he's going to uh, record some vocals on this mic and we're going to test it out so you can actually hear what it's all about. Anyways, yeah, so this this should be pretty close to it. So let's go ahead and check out the, the rest of uh, what's all in here. So we got a little shock mount right here. Okay, so this one's got a little buckle uh, set, which... I'm not mad at it. I like the little buckle set. I used to use that on, um, well, what mic would that have been? The Paluzzo SE47, which uh, which is crazy because that was also a clone of the uh, of the U47. So I, I got some experience with the, with the buckle system here. Okay, so the shock mount, yeah, the shock mount is really nice, actually. Uh, I am actually pretty impressed with this. I'm digging this. So what I'm going to do actually though is I'm going to grab a quick clip because I use uh, quick clips on all of my, um, on my mic. So one moment. All right. So I went ahead and I added my uh, quick clip to it because like I said, I have that on all my microphones. So all my microphones have uh, a quick clip on it. So there's one piece here and then every one of my stands has a piece uh, like this, the counter piece on it. So that way when I go to put it on the stand, all I got to do is just slide it in. Uh, versus having to uh, screw it on. So like for instance, I got a uh, stand right here. And so I can literally grab any mic in my collection and instead of having to screw it on, I just put it right on the uh, the quick clip right there. And you see pretty strong on there. Can actually lift it up here like that. So it, it's pretty strong. So anyways, yeah, like I said, I just always put that on there. Not that it's relevant to the video. But uh, anyways, 
I'm, I do like the shock mount. That's a weird thing for me to be impressed about, but hey, man, it, it's a really good build, so I'm happy about it. So then I, I got the power supply right here. And so uh, all I got to do here is uh, it comes with uh, its own uh, special cable. Uh, every tube mic will. So what you do is uh, you take this, this cable. This cable is going to uh, hook up to the microphone. And then it's going to go into the power supply. And then from there, you just take like your, uh, your regular XLR cable. And then this is what you'll plug into your actual preamp or your interface. Remember, do not throw phantom power in there. Uh, once you got all that on, you just uh, flip the switch up here. And I highly, highly, highly recommend that you let this uh, warm up for usually, two mics, I'd say usually about 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. I am going to read the manual uh, and I'll put it, uh, I have a little pop-up thing come up to say what the manual actually suggests, but whatever the manual says, that's what I would do. So basically what I'm saying is you, uh, you fire this up and let it uh, power up and don't record any vocals or anything in it. Let it just warm up for uh, 20 to 30 minutes unless this says different, then you can start recording. That way the, the uh, tube in here has some time to get heated up. And trust me, that, that weight is worth it. You'll get a much uh, warmer and cleaner sound to it because uh, it, the, the tube will have enough time to warm up. Because uh, otherwise, you, you run the risk of it sounding uh, a little more harsh, a little more sh uh, shrill, uh, even a little more heavy in the distortion because that tube really hasn't had the the moment to, uh, to get up to that level yet. But anyways, yeah. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to have my guy Pharaoh come in and uh, record some vocals, and then uh, we'll sit down and we'll analyze what we think that this sounds like and, and judge what we think of it, because it's impressive, it looks great, but we don't know what it sounds like yet. One last thing, just in case you wanted to know, it does come with an IEC cable. That's just to hook this up, this unit up to the wall. Okay, let's start diving in and hearing what this sounds like. Big up the DJ, he put on the replay, she bring the heat wave, and I appreciate spirit so gentle, I'm off the handle, you call my mental, don't understand you, roses are good, but you are the bestest, heavens are you, I'm choosing the second, losing my breath, I'm trying to keep up in your life, okay, no, about to erupt. Need me and I say Raja, Mikasa is su casa, you wanna smoke like Rasto, oh my gosh, my baby, you love to drive me crazy, kinda like the ocean wavy. Pulling me up to safety I think about you night and day Lost in the beat, we're miles away Don't let the moment die in vain When it come you, I'm high and take I'm on the east side island I'm from the streets, they wildin' Came out here with a backdrop, sunset backdrop, you know Big up the DJ, he put on the replay, she bring the heat wave, and I appreciate spirit so gentle, I'm off the handle, you call my mental, don't understand you, roses are good, but you are the bestest, heavens are you, I'm choosing the second, losing my breath, I'm trying to keep up in your live volcano, about to erupt. Alright, so Farrell just got done laying down his vocals, so now my guy AJ is here to join me here, and we're gonna go over and actually listen to it, and give our honest thoughts of what we think the microphone actually sounds like, and then AJ's actually gonna to jump in and EQ some things and see how he feels the microphone translates over uh, uh, when you EQ. All right, you ready to give it a listen? Yes, sir. Let's All go. right. Yeah. Big up the DJ, he born the replay, she bring the heat wave, and I appreciate spirit so gentle. I'm off the handle, you call my mental, don't understand you. Roses are good, but you are the bestest. Heavens are you, I'm choosing the second, losing my breath, I'm trying to keep up in your life, okay, no, about to erupt. Yeah, it's it's more full and more present. Um, the high end is is really a lot of information. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say descriptive. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's very it's very full on the high end. Um, which you know I think is gonna create some problems, but then also, um, I mean, and I think the C eight hundred is is the same. I I had a lot of mixes with the C eight hundred and the top in information is so prominent and so clear um, that it does present obstacles. So, um, but the thing about it is it presents obstacles, but you have so much information that you can do way more with it than you could with a, with a normal microphone. Yeah, so, yeah true. It's, it's impressive. That's really impressive. 
I, I think they got pretty close. The only thing that I, I noticed is uh, the Sony mic has um, more of a of a bump uh, curve in the two to 300 hertz range. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing that um, the warm audio version doesn't have that because that two to 300, a lot of times we want to carve that out anyways. Yeah. Yeah. So it did kind of lack some of that. Yeah. Um, so because of that, it doesn't sound as full as the Sony, but the high end information, I think they, they nailed it. But if we wanted to have the same fullness that the Sony had, I mean, literally just throw an EQ on and it's there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the the thing, the thing for me is always how much information is actually there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, cause when, when the information's there, you can manipulate it, but if it's not there, then you have to create it. So now we're adding harmonic distortion and all kinds of other things to try to get, the body of the record to True. feel, you know, just like literally create harmonics that don't exist in the actual recording. So I would much rather have something like this, where there's a, a, a more full snapshot of what happened in the real world. You know what I mean? True. That we can manipulate um, the more information, the better. So I think yeah. they did a fantastic job. Like, I don't necessarily know that I would notice if somebody told me that this was a C800, I don't think that I would, even notice that it wasn't yeah you, you know wouldn't I mean? be like ah no nah, that's not it you'd be like right All right, take your word for for it it sounds close enough i wouldn't even think about it though that's what i'm saying yeah. that i think i would just accept it as a c800 recording you know what i mean without thinking about it yeah unless the topic of the, the only thing right, right now we're talking about it but if somebody sent the session and said yeah i recorded on a c800 i wouldn't be like this wasn't a c800 yeah you know what i mean exactly it's like, and that's pretty incredible because the price point is so it's ten Opposite. times. It's ten <laughs> you know times I mean? less. Yeah, it's crazy. I yeah. I mean, already off top, just from that recording, I would feel. I personally feel like something like this would would be, when you look at what you're not getting compared to what you are getting, the price point doesn't even make sense anymore. Yeah, because you're getting at least, in my opinion, 90% of the Sony with this version. Right. right. And so 90% of the Sony for 10 times less. Right. I think that's that's reasonable. Yeah. You know, $1,100 versus $11,000. Right. For 90 and it does about 90% of the same performance. I'll take that every day. Yeah, I would I would do these mics, man. I would do these mics. Walmart, you got to send us some more of these mics, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I think I would love to play with, I'm looking forward to playing with this mic. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I, I think we need a couple more though. Yeah, I think so too, man. Yeah. Especially if we want to do like some, uh, um, stereo stuff. And, right. Cause there's a lot of other things besides vocals that we can do too. Right. And yeah. And it's sound always good design. to have a, yep. Sound design, guitars. It's always good to have a, a backup. But yeah, there is one thing I, I noticed too, because I noticed there is a lot of high, a lot of information in the, in the high frequency. One thing that I did like about it is, with that being said, his sibilance is still there and we will still do things like DSing and manual DSing that we normally do. But it's not as harsh on the uh, sibilance as uh, other mics are, even though oh, there's yeah. so much Without a doubt. high end information. I think it's really just because there's so much information in the high end that it creates this appearance of exaggerated sibilance. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but that's, you know, like we talked about, well, like we talk about all the time, it's like having a body of information that you can work with, you know what I mean, is is better. I want as much information from the very lowest frequency to the very highest frequency that we can get and then manipulate it because, you know, you can't, you don't want to have to create you know, like which I've had to do on a lot of records where something happens or there's some kind of um, dithering issue or something and you wind up having like frequencies that are not present inside the recording that really should be. Yeah. Um, so then I'm, I'm adding like harmonic distortion and other things to kind of try and, you know, like, like enhance those areas because you can't just do that with an EQ. You know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes you got to use saturation and stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and you have had a lot of experience mixing people that have used this mic, like the yeah. Tory Lanes record, yeah. Future used it. I'm um, trying to think some I other. Mean, most of the Thug might have used it. Young Thug. I I would say this way, man. Like most, there's a lot of a lot of artists that are like considered top tier artists that um, that won't go anywhere without that mic. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's true. But I know for me, like 
based on what I would want to do with my money, I would rather carry around um, the warm audio mic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it's like those are, it's at such a good price point that if the, it did get damaged on the road, I could replace it. Versus, That's, you know, yeah. you don't want to replace or repair a C800. And I've seen that happen where it's like, there are there are often so few of them available. Like I've seen, um, well, I, I, won't, I won't say who it is, but. Yeah, like when we got that, call about travis scott he right. was in town they right. were looking for this sony c800 mic and, it was and they they find. called us to see if we we had it at our studio right yeah so that's you know it, it's it's difficult in a moment like that because people who have a c800 are like you're not touching my mic you know what i yeah. mean for good reason like i'm not gonna that's a car really i mean a low-end car but that's you know what i'm saying like that's that's a uh, if you want to buy a car you can, that's half the money to buy a vehicle so yeah you know what i mean and the thing about it is they retail for a little under eleven thousand dollars but they're sold out at so many places that you honestly got to get them on the resale market so to replace the c800 is going to cost you maybe 15 grand because they're sold out in a lot of places. But see, beyond that, too, I think, once again, it, it comes down to convenience. You know what I mean? Where, like you said, if it's sold out in all these different locations, like, what do you do when something goes wrong? Yeah. You know what I mean? And then that's like your go-to microphone that becomes a, a challenge. You know what I mean? Because um, there's, you know, even renting them for a situation is going to be tough. You know yeah, what I'm it's true. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you have a microphone like this, that, that is doing 80, 90% of the job, you know, it's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. I'll, it just makes more sense to me to run around, you know what I mean? To take the carrying case and it comes with a great case too. You know what I mean? Yeah, it does. I take was impressed around, with it. You gotta do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So did you want to dive in? I got, uh, your EQ that you like here. Just dive yeah, in and sure. kind of see how it translates in a mix. For sure. Let me actually use this chair. I I know that you guys love these chairs, but I'm I'm super weird about stuff like that because I don't want things blocking or reflect creating reflections. Ah, I do remember you said that, yeah. I am weird like that. But I, I just I hear everything, so it's kinda hard to, you know. Big up the DJ, he put on the replay, she bring the heat wave, and I appreciate it. See, I automatically hear that that um that 200 you were talking about. Yeah. You know what I mean? That it's missing. Big up the DJ. Yeah. He on the replay. She bring the heat wave. And I appreciate it. Spirit so gentle. I'm off the... It's crazy how present it is, though, man. That's yeah. A... There's so much high-end information. And what's crazy is you haven't even EQ'd or... There's no processing other than the auto-tune on there. Right. Yeah. I know I'm going to need two EQs, so I'm just going to pull two up. Big up the DJ. He on the replay. She bring the heat wave. And I appreciate it. Spirit so gentle. I'm off the... Woo! Big up the DJ, he put on the replay, she bring the heat wave, and I appreciate spirit so gentle, I'm off the handle, you call my mental, don't understand you, roses are good, but you are the bestest, heavens are you, I'm choosing the second, losing my breath, I'm trying to keep up in your live volcano, about to erupt. Big up the DJ, he put on the replay, she bring the heat wave, and I appreciate spirit so gentle, I'm off the handle. 3k being a bastard as usual I'm choosing the second losing my breath i'm trying to keep up in your live volcano about to erupt big up the dj he put on the replay she bring the heat wave and i appreciate it. spirit so gentle i'm off the handle you call my mental don't understand you what's crazy is big how up the dj he put on the replay good a she bring the heat wave and i appreciate it. spirit so gentle i'm off the handle crazy how good a job it's doing at big up the dj he put on the replay she bring the heat wave and i appreciate it. spirit so gentle i'm off the handle you call my mental don't understand you you are the Good bestest, Lord. heavens are you, I'm choosing the second, losing my breath, I'm trying to keep up in your live volcano, about to erupt. Big up the DJ, he put on the replay, she bring the heat wave, and I appreciate- I feel like there's one more. Big up the DJ, he put on the replay, she bring the heat wave, and there I appreciate it. Spirit so gentle, I'm off the handle, you call my mental, don't understand you. Roses are good, but you are the bestest. Heavens are you, I'm choosing the second, losing my breath, I'm trying to keep up in your live volcano, about to erupt. That's... Need me and I say...
Big up the DJ, he pulled the replay, she bring the heat wave, and I appreciate Spirit so gentle, I'm off the handle, you call my mental, don't understand you, roses are good, but you are the bestest, heavens are you, I'm choosing the second, Luke. That's incredible, man. Big up the DJ, he pulled the replay, she bring the heat wave, and I appreciate Spirit so gentle, I'm off the handle, you call my mental, don't understand you, roses are good, but you are the bestest, heavens are you, I'm choosing the second, losing my breath, I'm trying to keep up in your live volcano, about to erupt. Big up the DJ, he pulled the replay, she bring the heat wave, and I appreciate Spirit so gentle, I'm off the handle, you call my mental, don't understand you, roses are good, but you are the bestest, heavens are you, I'm choosing the second, losing my breath, I'm trying to keep up in your live volcano, about to erupt. Big up the DJ, he pulled the replay, she bring the heat wave, and I appreciate Spirit so gentle, I'm off the handle, you call my mental, don't understand you, roses are good, but you are the bestest, heavens are you, I'm choosing the second, losing my breath, I'm trying to keep up in your live volcano, about to erupt. Big up the throwing, DJ, um, he pulled the replay, she bring the heat wave, stuff I want to throw in there. Sure. Um, yeah, just hit these vocal effects and slap. Big up the DJ, he pulled the replay, she bring the heat wave, and I appreciate spirit so gentle. I'm off the handle, you call my mental, don't understand you. Roses are good, but you are the bestest. Heavens are you, I'm choosing the second, losing my breath. I'm trying to keep up in your live volcano, about to erupt. Big up the DJ, he pulled the replay, she bring the heat wave, and I appreciate spirit so gentle. I'm off the handle, you call my mental, don't understand you. Roses are good, but you are the bestest. Heavens are you, I'm choosing the second, losing my breath, I'm trying to keep. Yeah, you can really dial this in, man. Like, there's so many, you know what I mean? And you know me, I'm a, I'm a heavy EQ guy, so I'm gonna wanna. Well, you know, we talk about this stuff in class, so I'm not gonna say all that but big up the dj he pulled the replay she bring the heat wave and i appreciate spirit so gentle i'm off the handle you call my mental don't understand you roses are good but you are the bestest heavens are you i'm choosing the second losing my breath i'm trying to keep up in your live volcano about to erupt Big up the DJ, he pulled the replay, she bring the heat wave, and I appreciate spirit so gentle. I'm off the handle, you call my mental, don't understand you. Roses are good, but you are the bestest. Heavens are you, I'm choosing the second, losing my breath. I'm trying to keep up in your live volcano, about to erupt. Me, me, and I say Roger, Mikasa is su casa. You wanna smoke like rust, oh my gosh, my baby. You love to drive me crazy, kind like the ocean wavy. Pulling me up to safety I think about you night and day Lost in the beat, we're miles away Don't let the moment die in vain When it come you, I'm high and take I'm on the east side island I'm from the streets, they wildin' Big up the DJ, he pulled the replay She bring the heat wave, and I appreciate Yeah, that's pretty amazing, man Yeah, so what you're saying is With all that information uh, That this microphone's picking up It gives you more options to be able to boost some different areas yeah because like to or bring out some more areas right yeah exactly man like so once i stabilized the vocal a bit um i was able to boost some things that i thought um i really wanted to bring out and then restabilize it and then added one more eq just to kind of like top it off with a little bit of sheen yeah um and add a little bit more like lower mid-range to kind of make cause it to like have an anchor you know what i mean an anchor in the song and, and feel good but there's a the thing about it like you said is like there's so much information in there that i can do that and like that will probably translate across the entire song you know what i mean like and it's it's more present because i heard this recorded without this mic at first and it, it's a it's a stark difference between you know what i mean this and the other mic that he originally recorded this on and how much work it would take for me as a mixer to mix the old vocal versus the new vocal yeah which i think a lot of people underestimate the value of one of the biggest reasons that you're investing in things like microphones is to cause yourself to um to save time in your mix you know what i mean so that it's not you're not trying to invent something that's not there. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? exactly. If it's there, you're like, yeah, that's that's good stuff. I like it, man. Big up the I would, um, on the replay. She bring the heat wave, and I appreciate spirit so gentle. And you know, Pharaoh, of course, sounds you know kind of nasally, but that's the way he is. Like that's just the his performance and the yep. way he you know records. And so is you know Drake is that way. You know what I mean? Um, Eminem's that way. A lot of people that's are that true. way. 
yeah. you know, a little bit more nasally in their delivery. But so, yeah, man, I'm impressed. Yeah, I was impressed too, man. I didn't know what I was to expect, but I've have you know a lot of warm audio stuff in the studio, so I felt like they were gonna get pretty close. I didn't know they were gonna get this close. So. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, for I sure. I would say off top, yeah, man, for sure. You know what I mean? I, I think, um, I think we should get a couple more of these. I think you know? so, man. Yeah, at the very least, a second one. Yeah, just to have for sure. Yeah, just at least, like you said, like a stereo pair to be able to do some cool stuff. And yeah, man. Yep. I like it. I like it. Yep, I like it too, man. Well, I appreciate you coming through. Oh, of course. Giving your opinion. You uh, let us know down in the comment section what your opinion of it is. If uh, you tried it and you like it, or if you've been looking at it, or what your thoughts are on it. If you're excited about it as well. And like I always say, if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. That way you can stay up to date with videos just like this one. Until next time. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel right here so you can stay up to date with our latest videos on mixing, mastering, and production. And you can also check out some of our suggested videos here, here, and here. And of course, if you're looking for premium loops and samples, we got the best on the market. You can check out soundoracle.net. We got plenty to choose from.